It was just a couple of weeks ago we found out Killer Cross had signed with the WWE. We found that out on WWE Backstage by Ryan Satin's Sheet Report. I know, I wish they'd kept these things a secret too, but it did add a lot of speculation as to what the Killer Cross character would do in WWE. It was reported online at the time that Cross recently had a meeting with Triple H over the last couple of weeks and was told that he would be fast-tracked. And that grabbed everybody's attention. Because what does fast-track mean? Will he go straight to NXT Championship level? Will he go to Raw? Will he go to SmackDown? Nobody actually knows. And it's going to be interesting to see how WWE fast-track him. Well, last night on SmackDown, we were plagued by glitches. These happened twice during the show. No matter where you were in the world, no matter what satellite provider you was actually watching on, this happened. And it's very interesting because you look at the screenshot here, it does look like there's hidden text or hidden images in this interference. It doesn't just look like normal static interruption. And of course, the widely accepted theory for this was it could have something to do with Killer Cross. A lot of people took a screenshot and got what they determined to be a cross on the picture. So it's very possible at this stage. Again, this is a theory video and this one's a little bit loose, but it does make sense. Why wouldn't this psychopath sort of say he's coming? And talking a psychopath, that's exactly what his character used to be. In Impact Wrestling, he was really good. Um, the rumours were that he only fell out with Impact because he refused to blade at Slammiversary. I don't know how true that is. I hadn't read that news story before until I was making this video. And I thought that was really interesting. That on screen, he plays this really deep psycho. But out back, the guy's got his head together and he like, knows what's best for him. And I thought that was really cool. Well, with Killer Cross's WWE debut, wherever it may be, imminent. He has been doing a lot of cryptic tweeting. And the words TikTok have played in perfectly. And I don't mean the website where he's going to go and do a funny dance or something. But that is what he's been teasing. There's been gifts and everything else of this TikTok. And I like that because you think of a psychopath, they got to have something that motivates them, right? TikTok, obviously you think about time, it makes a load of sense. Now, the first thing people are mentioning is that if Killer Cross goes to SmackDown, he's on the same brand as The Fiend. Now, I think this would be an amazing match. I really think WWE could tell some wacky, insane stories here. But, a little clue on Killer Cross's Twitter bio. If you go to his Twitter, at Real Killer Cross, you can read at WWE Superstar, licensed and certified time collector from hell, and Immortal Rabbit Tribe God. Now, when you think, we know an Immortal Rabbit, Rambling Rabbit, of course the Firefly Funhouse's probably favourite puppet, is immortal. He doesn't die. When he does die, he comes back to life. And Killer Cross is the rabbit, the immortal rabbit tribe guard. What? Now, how cool could it be if because he's the immortal rabbit tribe guard, the immortal rabbit rambling rabbit told Killer Cross the secrets to the fiend? Or maybe he is rambling rabbit. We have, we have had this discussion before about characters portraying like WWE superstars. Why couldn't Killer Cross be Rambling Rabbit? I don't know. I think it's really interesting that that's on his bio. You can read WWE Superstar, but that is on his bio. And you know, someone's got to be behind the puppet. Someone's got to have their hand up the puppet, basically making the puppet move. Why would it not be a future WWE superstar? What a way to debut somebody through the Firefly Funhouse. Especially someone like Killer Cross. And as I mentioned, we all know Rambling Rabbit has that big secret on The Fiend. He tells every one of The Fiend's opponents, I know how to beat The Fiend. I know what's really going on. So if Killer Cross is in any way associated with Rambling Rabbit, even if Rambling Rabbit sees him as a guard, 
He doesn't even have to be in the funhouse or be Rambling Rabbit. Maybe that's enough for Rambling Rabbit to go and tell Killer Cross, hey, you want to beat the Fiend? Well, this is how you do it. I don't know, I just think that's a really interesting story and something I haven't seen anyone else mention. I mean, what a completely random thing to put on your Twitter bio. Immortal Rabbit Tribe Guard. I don't know, it's very random. Let me know, as you always do, your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, let me know what you think about the glitches. Go back to yesterday's video. There's a lot of people reporting and saying what they saw and what they screenshotted in the comment section of yesterday's video. So it's worth checking that out. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Share this video on social media so your friends can find it. And I will, as always, see you next time. Peace!